Yo, 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 yo. All my Zooligans, all my kings, queens. It's another one like the other one, man. Gritting and grinding, trying to find my way up out of the amazing pitfalls and mistakes that were set before me to fail. You know, uh, thank you, God. Uh, slowly but surely, we're climbing up out that rabbit hole, man. And uh, I would say to you all out there, man, keep grinding, stay focused, man. Keep God first, family second, and business third, man. It'll help you make the decisions needed in order to win. Uh, with that being said, as you can see, I'm at my second favorite place in the whole wide world. That's business, baby. Taking care of business, man. Shooting my shot, trying to have at it. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I want to elaborate on my 50 years of hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? Give a, a, a couple of stories on it. Make sure that y'all tap into uh, Street Marine. The soundtrack is out now, available on all platforms. Uh, Lil Knock, The Paradigm, The Paradise. It's out on all platforms right now. Don Elway, Elway or No Way Part 2. It's out on all platforms right now. And Adonis, the hottest of night in Vegas, man. A lot of people are saying that this is the album of the year. And if it's not worldwide, then it is for sure, for sure. West Coast and Cali and San Diego. So uh, make sure that y'all tap into that, man. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And when you zoom in, tell them your boy sent you. You know what I'm saying? So they'll know that a lot of love is coming from my way. Now, before I get started, I just gotta give a small shout out to my father just to let him inside the building and know that he is my primary focus. Uh, thank you, Lord Father, for bringing us together in your name. May you spread your love and joy throughout the world. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I'm praying that everybody have a good one and uh, a lot of food and festivities and, of love and grace in your name. And uh, all things is possible. Amen. Now, Meadowbrook Apartments. I'm going to take you all all the way back. Meadowbrook Apartments, early 80s. See here, the skyline, man, the skyline stuff, man, your boy is embedded in the fabric, man. My family been running all through there since the 70s and 60s, so it ain't too much going on around there without me and mine being involved. Excuse me. Meadowbrook Apartments, early 80s. My big homeboy, Tico, may rest in peace. He was the first homeboy that I heard about passing away. Now, what they told me was this. Shout out to my big homeboy, Guga, Guga Boo. Now, I don't know exactly if he was right, and I don't even know if I'm remembering, remembering it correctly, because I was so young, man. But, uh, so for me, Tico, he was our beatboxer. He would do the beatbox while the homies rapping, whatever, you know? And, um, uh, Supposedly, man, they was in a stolen car, got into a high-speed chase, and crashed, and that's how the homeboy passed. And uh, that was the first story handed down to me about one of my homeboys that I had actually seen and met, and didn't really know, because he was way older than me, but I was in his presence, you know what I'm saying, he, he was a cool dude, you know what I'm saying, from time to time. Now, God rest his soul. And if I'm right about it or wrong about it, man, tap in, leave me a comment, let me know, you know? Uh, but now, my big homeboy, Montrell, and my other big homeboy, Handyman. Handyman was from Brookhaven or something like that. And uh, he came by way of there. Montrell was Meadow Brook. He Brook Posse. Now, at this time, he was the hardest rapper inside of the Brook. So, of course... They was going to put these two dudes head to head to rap against each other. And man, now let me let me, let me me break down the time for y'all, the timeline, man. This is when we all running around with our Adidas, Adidas suit. You know what I'm saying? Putting our names in because, you know, it was a gang of different dance crews in, right? Uh, put that on the back of the jacket. You know what I'm saying? We'll sport that around. Uh, uh, um... The girls, man, they would come over there, man, all the dancing groups, the girls, man, they'd come from all over the city, man, fine and fine, man, you know what I'm saying? I was too old to, 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 to tango, 
But uh, every now and then, they'll let me play high and go get it with them, you know what I'm saying? And, and you know, I was like Gino at that time, the little dude around, man, just trying to, you know, squirrel, trying to get a nut, man, you know what I'm saying? They used to make me get, get, get out of here, but boy, I used to be shooting my shot. Anyhow, they would break out the cardboard, homie, they'd break out the cardboard, Dude had a beatbox with the with the stereo, uh, the, 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 the what's the name on top of uh, the stereo? You know what I'm saying? The turn the, uh, the 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 um the mixer, man. You know what I'm saying? They had what they had back then, man. It was uh, not cassettes, but uh, records. They we had the record player on top. Chippa chippa chippa. You know what I'm saying? They'd be able to skip. Dude had the big old radio. Had a whole apartment thing knocking. They would throw down the cardboard. Next thing you know, they break dancing. And spinning on their back, man, and having a good time. It's a big old circle of form. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't let you get up to the front. They had to try to squeeze through, and if you're squeezing through, they get to pushing you and shoving you and trying to treat you like a little sucker. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Hey, listen. This matter of brook time, baby, in the early 80s, man, it was rough, right? And uh, the homeboys would play uh, full court on the basketball court, right? And they would put their tape by the pole. I jacked the homeboy tape. It was a blue tape. I took it home, threw it in there, bam. It was that LL Cool J, you know what I'm saying? And this was the first one, you know. This was uh, 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 I Need Love and all this old good stuff on there, man. And Rock the Bells and all that. I was like, damn, I was in, I was in, you know what I'm saying? And shout out LL Cool J, you know. And then... um. The homeboy Montreal with Handyman, man. It was like a big old scene, man. Everybody knew about it. They told everybody about it. Everybody, it's a big old. Now, the, the, where they had, where the rap battle that I went to during this time, the rap was, uh, battle that I went to at this time was up there by uh, the Asian side of the brook, I want to say. You know, not at the, um, not at the Diamond, not by, not by the Cheese Park. But to the left, you know what I'm saying, going towards Palo, right? And uh, the homies was there, you know what I'm saying, big old circle. And I don't even know who won, man, but uh, they was flowing, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it was a good thing, you know. Uh, like I say, back in the days, hanging and banging, man. The homegirl, shout out to the homegirl, homegirl Karima and her whole family, Bullet. Uh, moms, everybody, you know what I'm saying? You already know what's up, man. We've been knowing each other since way back. Uh, Y'all did a... They did a uh, uh, talent show at Boom and did Brass Monkey. Man, I listen to that song now and think like, damn, man, what was y'all doing? Why they let y'all do a song to Brass Monkey at that young age, man, but they did. Probably because it was going over their head. And you know what was, what's funny about that is, excuse me, what's funny about that is when Beastie Boys first came out, Everybody thought they was black, right? You know what I'm saying? The years later, only over years later, but later, we found out there was a bunch of white boys, man. You know what I'm saying? I was hooked on that Paul Revere, man. You know what I'm saying? I was, I loved that. I loved the, I loved the way of the beat. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the BC boys. You know what I'm saying? I still love that song to this day. And then uh, Eric B and Rock M. Y'all remember when Eric B and Rock M used to be busting? Uh, we thought Eric B was the rapper, you know what I'm saying? It took us a minute before, at least me, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I say, I was a baby running around the brook at this time. And then uh, homies used to pull up with their Suzuki's over there at the Calvin and them section. You know what I'm saying? Bumping that, uh, uh, what was that? Uh, uh, fly guy, a fly guy, a fly guy. I don't even know who sung that, homie, but... Them was good times, man. Then when I think about that, Thanksgiving, bro, it gets me in a festive mood, man. You know what I'm saying? I love the brook. I love my upbringing. I loved how y'all helped to raise me, man, because my mom was still young, running around doing her thing, trying to work a job and all this old kind of stuff. So the brook was my babysitter, you know what I'm saying? So I hung out with y'all like y'all was my father, you know what I'm saying, and my mother, you know? And, and I thank God that y'all protect, protected me and shielded me. Although I had to run into bullies like Ricky, you know what I'm saying? But, and Andre Calvin, rest in peace. But that, though, you can't have life without those, bro. Without you giving me that, 
I would have never knew what it felt like to be bullied and what make and what helped me to be stronger to where I didn't want to be bullied. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's just, you know, it's crazy, man, because I love all y'all, man. I miss all y'all. And I wish that I might be able to attend one of those re reunions y'all be having out there in Vegas. Like, you know, no, man, I, you know, God willing, I have my money right and I'd be able to participate right, you know what I'm saying, to pull up and hear back and boogie, you know what I mean? But anyway, shout out to all y'all. Shout out to my big relative, Sean, my big relative, buddy. They, buddy, buddy would protect me against other bullies, you know what I'm saying, like Ricky and, and uh, Andre Calvin and them because Buddy was crazy as hell too. I forget what they call him, Boo Rock, Butt Rock, something like that. But um, yeah, it, it's love, baby, it's love, nothing but love. And I pray that all y'all is doing good, having a good time, a good life, homie, and living to the fullest and utmost. With that being said, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, you know what I'm saying? And, and enjoy your Thanksgiving, man. May God continue to bless y'all. Peace.